what do we want to say? I don't really know. I never really know. All right, so we're here. What's up, guys? Uh, we are at Epcot tonight. Um, caught sunset about an hour before, you know. It gets dark. That's how sunsets work. But basically, we are here tonight to review the new fireworks show and also check out the preview center. If you just want to see our firework uh, review and all that on Epcot Forever, you can fast forward. But we're happy you're here anyways. So there's a lot of big changes coming to Epcot over the next couple of years. And the preview center is basically putting all of that on display. Everything from new rides, new attractions, and uh, the new main entrance that they're putting in. I'm really excited for what they're going to do here. So I am really excited to check out the preview center. Also, see the fireworks for the first time. Because they've been out for three weeks and we haven't seen them. I know. We're shameful, you know, Orlando vloggers. We really are. I mean, so much for being timely about things. But... Anyways, if you're new to the channel, we swear to God we're not this bad all the time. My name's Jared. And I'm Molly. Let's go have some fun. So, uh, Molly just had to ask where this preview center is because we don't know. That's how little we know. So, they're making th us look like amateurs, Jared. So, if you ever think that we're that big of experts, we're, we're really not. We're clearly not. I am the Disney Queen. She's the expert. I just drink beer and laugh at things. That's about it. Uh, we walked right by where you do all that dancing and macarena -ing. I um, wanted to macarena. But we decided not to do the macarena after some thought process. Oh look, donut box. Donuts. Alright, so we're here. Um, we're looking at the Epcot experience. Come inside for an immersive, behind-the-scenes look into the inspiration and ideas shaping the future of Epcot. Yeah. I'm like one of those kids during a PowerPoint who didn't memorize the PowerPoint, so he just reads right off the sign. That's what I just did. But uh, I'll tell you what, sometimes I'm entertaining. Anyways, let's go inside and look at the future of Epcot. Molly's very embarrassed by me. Look at her. She keeps storming off. <laughs> I'm so angry. <laughs> So I'm really excited for this because the Odyssey is just this big space in Epcot that really hasn't been used in like probably over a year since the last Food and Wine Festival. Actually, it might even be two Food and Wine Festivals. So super excited that they're actually using this space and we're going to go check it out. where the magic of possibility awaits. Share these thoughts with each other. It can be magical. Welcome to a place that celebrates the magic of possibility. So, that was the preview center, Molly. That was so cool. I am a person who is super dorky about Disney, so I thought that show was like really awesome. I could have stayed in there for like hours and just watched it over and over again. Yeah, it's very cool actually. It's very immersive. It's a 360 show and they have the whole like future layout of Epcot in the middle and they do previews for basically every attraction, every show, every you know, difference that the Everything new Epcot's gonna bring. from the uh, Moana, uh, the Motion of Water attraction, they're going to be bringing Cherry Tree Lane down to the United Kingdom Pavilion, which I'm super excited about. Guardians of the Galaxy, there are so many new things coming to Epcot over the next couple of years. Yeah, exactly. Epcot's really just getting a full overhaul transformation, but that was very cool. We're gonna do some walking and wandering, and then we are going to watch Epcot Forever and give you our thoughts on that. So keep following on, unless you hate me. But uh, hopefully you don't hate me. She doesn't hate me. Anyways, where's the beer? <laughs> hey, what'd you get? Hey, uh, frozen mimosa featuring White Claw sparkling seltzer. Um, it's, Ain't no law. <laughs> it's, um, it's really good. It's like very tart, like cranberry or like pomegranate, and it's yummy. 
so. And it's yummy. Something to drink before the fireworks. Yes. All right, so it's getting dark, um, hence the lighting, but uh, we are just grabbing some stuff. It's Food and Wine Festival, so it's Why the best not? time to get stuff. Uh, I got some. So this is, uh, I believe it was uh, beer braised beef. Beef. Beef, yes. and then uh, it is with Gouda and mashed potatoes. Yeah, which and is. I'm, I'm a big. Pretty dope. I'm a big, a big cheese head, so yeah. these are pretty freaking good. This is uh, from Belgium, and we're just hanging out over here by Morocco. And uh, yeah, the fireworks start at nine o'clock, so it'll get dark. We're gonna show as much footage of the show as we can. Then afterwards, we'll find a place where we can give our thoughts um, without being pitch black, because you know. We'll work it out. It's I'm fine. pretty white. I shine pretty light in the dark, right? Yes, you do. Yes, I do. So. So. Are you excited for the fireworks, or are you sad about illuminations? Illuminations will always have a special place in my heart. I love the music for Illuminations. It's the fireworks show I used to always watch with my family when we came here. That being said, um, Illuminations definitely was a little outdated show-wise, um, so I'm really excited to see what Epcot Forever brings. So, I am ready to be amazed. Hey. hey. How's life going right now? It's good, it's so beautiful out tonight. It is gorgeous out tonight. This is our favorite spot to watch the fireworks, right? Yes, but it's a secret spot, so nobody else can have it. A secret <laughs> spot? No, it's, uh, we're actually in the France Pavilion. Um, we are right behind, um, or right in front of Chef de France, and then they have kind of some little artist um, setups, and so we are just standing right on the wall. And I don't know, I just like this spot because I really love France. It's one of my favorite pavilions, and... Um, for some reason it doesn't get like super crowded over here. It can get really, really busy, especially like in the entrance of World Showcase and stuff, but I find that the further you go inward, the less crowded it'll be. And we have our own little viewing box here. We are VIPs. Nobody yes. else can use this spot. Okay, so that was Epcot Forever. Uh, what are your thoughts? Um, I'm definitely letting it sink in still. Uh, they did a lot of really cool effects with the fireworks. They've done things that I've never seen before, which I thought was really cool. Um, I personally, I feel like didn't enjoy it as much as someone who maybe grew up with all the music that was involved in it. They used a lot of um, soundtracks from Epcot back like from the 80s and the early 90s that I'm not familiar with. So I bet that's really cool for people who love that kind of music. Um, I really love the parts where I knew the music. Like they featured a couple of little things from the Illumination soundtrack. Yeah, I feel stuff, like so. I feel like the reason they're doing so many older songs is because Epcot's getting fully revamped and it's fully changing. So they really are kind of like out with the old and with the new. And due to that, this show is kind of temporary. So maybe this is kind of like a, oh, here's your last run with this kind of stuff. Here's a thank you to all these many great years of Epcot stuff, but uh, Epcot Definitely is fully tribute. changing, yeah. you know? It, it is a tribute to Epcot. And honestly, I thought it was a great show. I just, I don't think it's anywhere near as good as Illuminations, I but I do any... think it was 
a great show. I didn't have any wow moments. Like, yeah. Like, don't get me wrong, it was cool. And I think we're spoiled and we see fireworks displays by Disney all the time. And we forget that, yeah. you know, each time they put on one of these shows, it probably costs like $100,000 in fireworks and stuff. Yeah. I mean, Illuminations, <laughs> to me, it was just a lot more nostalgic. Same as, it was kind of the same concept as Wishes to Happily Ever After. Uh, fireworks show like I like happily ever after but I think wishes was more nostalgic so it's just I guess it's kind of a preference thing but I do think it was a good show and I think it's worth checking out on your next trip to Disney and I definitely recommend checking out the Epcot preview center if you're here within uh, the next year or so before they take that away obviously um, and whether or not you like the fireworks show it's only gonna be here till like next June so yes but in any event one. But in any event, uh, if you are new to the channel, thanks so much for tuning in to this. Uh, we cover everything from uh, Disney to Universal, Orlando, and travel all over the place. We also have links uh, to uh, great, great planning books for Disney and Universal uh, right below this video. Our favorite magic bands, our camera equipment, all stuff like that. So if you want to check that out, uh, please hit that subscribe button to check out more content. We post videos every single week. And thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, my name is Jared. And my name is Molly. And we'll catch you next time. Bye.